Good evening. Thank you for watching our Culture News in English, where we're meeting artist Ethelbert Perini, who's got his first solo exhibition. We'll be speaking with him and with Dr. Charlene Vella, who's his curator. Charlene, tell me something about this exhibition. What made you choose this artist? Well, Ethelbert Perini is quite unknown to the local art scene, so that was one of the reasons for my selection of him as a, an artist to exhibit here. But also because of his medium, which is not very usual for the Maltese artistic scene. As you know, the artworks here are made of soft pastels, which is by no means an easy medium for artists to use. He is very humble, in fact, in uh, being very quiet about how he does these beautiful works, full of colour, full of life. There are faces, still lives, landscapes, seascapes, inanimate objects, and everything is full of colour. And the way he manages to keep those colours quite distinct is also very hard, very difficult to achieve without smudging the pastel. Some artists choose to smudge the pastel with a certain sfumato as a technique, but Ethelbert wants to keep his colours quite pristine, quite bold. In fact, when you look at the pears and apples, for example, in his still lives, you see quite a hard edge, as well as when he's portraying the sea, especially the waves, the rough sea. They're done on location and in the studio. They're quite quick exercises, which tend well to the subject of a seascape, which is ever-changing. There's a, what I call a calligraphic approach. So he's almost writing as he goes along in producing these artworks. Very smooth in the production. And he's accustomed to work, working on more than one artwork at the same time. So maybe that is why there is a certain consistency with, in all of these artworks with regards to the palette that he has chosen. Tell me something about his still life. I've seen quite a few over here. Well, still life in the history of art, of course, has a very long history. But it's reached a peak with artists like Cezanne, who glorified the everyday objects, like apples, household objects. And the way that Ethelbert is, again, bringing them to such a high level, high art, we can say, is quite unusual. Even the viewpoints that he uses. For example, there is one called Fruity Traffic Lights you're seeing the fruit from above, which is an unusual viewpoint for still lifes, as we are used to seeing them. The portraits are inspired even through Van Gogh's style of direct paint, but I use pastels instead. Locally, I, I admire a lot uh, Anton Kalleja, with whom I have studied for some time in his Bahia studio, and I experience in the nudes through him. I have been painting in pastels for the last three, four years now. It, in fact, it was an accident till um, introduction to pastels. I ended up buying a box of pastels for my daughter for a school project, and I found them quite attractive to, to use. And I developed it, the style further in these last years. Talk to me about uh, different styles. Uh, you were interested before that. I use acrylics a lot. Um, but a totally different style. And I use um, charcoal for my main my life model studies that I do very quickly. But I find the pastels quite intriguing to use. And that's why I pursue more pastels at the moment. I attend a, um, a model class as well. So I paint um, the live model within a, a small group of artists. And then I paint at home in my studio and develop more that's, that's the life models that I paint and the subject that I have in mind at that time. Did any memories from your childhood inspire what we're seeing today? My uncle used to paint, so I, I, I followed him for some time and then I found supportive teachers at primary school and secondary school. My secondary school teacher was very old. In fact, my pastels do tend to have some hard edge style in them, which is his, his main style of art of Harry Olden. The pastels lend well to that style, so I think that influence of, that Harry Olden gave me ages ago <laughs> um, are still with me.
Charlene, what was the reaction of the public when they saw his collection? Well, there were quite a few artists who visited the exhibition, fellow friends and even others who were very impressed by the level, the quality of the artwork here. Exposure to pastel art in Malta is quite limited, mostly because few artists use this, this medium to ex in, for, in exhibitions. So many people were pleasantly surprised what can be done with pastels. Do you have a favorite piece or pieces in this exhibition? So yes, I do have some of the, the sea ones and the striped cloth, which is a still life as well, with, with apples and pears. Going forward, what are your plans? Uh, I, I will continue to develop the style further. But I would also encourage him to perhaps look into going a bit more abstract. Not that his art is super representational because he doesn't copy everything as he sees it. There is an element of his artistic technical ability coming through as well. But there are elements that can be abstract and taken to another level, which is very hard. Mm -hmm. It is not easy for an artist to take that bold step mm -hmm. because it can go wrong. But when it's done well, it can, it can be very beautiful as well. For our Culture News in English today, we met with artist Ethelbert Perini and his curator, Dr. Charlene Vella. Should you have any comments or queries, please send them to the number that appears on the screen. I'm Leah Hogg for NET TV.